here I have a photograph of a red-breasted nuthatch in um, December issue of Birders World. The photograph is by Jerry Sibyl. And I saw it and I just fell in love with it and figured I wanted to explore it. So I sat down and I drew it into my book. I really don't have a plan about what this page is going to be or what it's going to say. I just know that I wanted to explore this image and, uh, and see what it could bring up for me. So I've got, I'm using gouache and I'm probably using it more like uh, watercolor at the moment. I flooded the paper, this is 140 pound watercolor paper and I flooded it with a wash just in this lower mm, right hand corner of the page. And I'm um, playing with how the paint is going into the paper. Not worrying too much about the entire image. I can figure this composition out as I go, and I trust that I will. So, and you know, I mean, most of the time it's just having fun with what the paint does anyway. Got a big bucket of water off to the side. I don't want my brush too wet, but I do want to be able to move it around, so. So I'm just playing. Put some, some color down. I should have maybe gotten my... I like how stark that line is right there. So I know that I need to leave that alone. So I'm not going to go into that area. But this paper is still wet here so it's not like I can't move the paint around. In, inside the wet area. And I know, you know, like when I look at the drawing that I did compared to the photograph that the man took, I know a few things are off. And you know what? It's okay. I generally got the image down. I'm going to flood the other half of the paper. And um, put some more color down. By flooding, I just mean, you know, I take water and I'm like puddling it around so that you know there's sizing on top of watercolor paper and um, it's there to help you control how to uh, help you to control putting paint on the paper and the rate of acceptance of the paper so kind of it's the fun of working with watercolor media and this paper in particular. Watercolor. Well, not this paper, but watercolor paper in particular. So, I'm going right up to the dry areas, but not over. I'm staying in the flooded area. in the paint flow toward my puddle and this area is sort of light I'm going to take some paint move it away watercolors are sort of an additive media so I can make this area darker or make this area 
can try to move the paint a little bit from this area. Seems to me like I would like the area underneath the tail to be lighter. I kind of like what's happening. I have some more. I have some paper towels here. I'm just gonna take some. Sometimes a paper towel can leave a little bit of texture. You don't really want that. You want to be in control. And of course, this is the uh, gutter of my book. So, where I've sewn the, the signatures together, the um, paint is going to seep down into those holes and I can't really help it I don't you know I'm not I'm not a book binder although I made this book um so I don't really I'm not strict I don't have any real rules I just want to make my own books because I love journaling not because I want to be perfect Fantastic. I'd like to get a few splatters on there. No, not really working. I got some paint. Mm -hmm. 